Good day, everybody. I have an absolutely outstanding instrument to, um, well, demo, review, talk about today. It's an Ono uh, Koa All Koa Concert Ukulele, built by David Ingalls in uh, in Oregon, in Northwest United States of America. Uh, David's been a boat builder for most of his life, and furniture maker, and uh, he his uh, artistry. Uh, and attention to detail really comes through in his ukuleles. Uh, they're high, high class uh, instruments at very, very reasonable prices. Just to show you this, this particular uke, it has a, as I said, all color body with just a light curl in it and just a gorgeous amber kind of honey color. Um, it's really rich colour, this, this set. It's, it's absolutely stunning. has a mahogany neck with also uh, some colour pieces in the heel. It uh, has a colour head plate with a bloodwood stripe. Uh, Grover friction ch tuners with black buttons. It has a rosewood fingerboard, which I hope you can see the lovely grain in that rosewood board, it's gorgeous. Uh, rosewood bridge, bone nut and saddle. And uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. Uh, just a couple of additional features with this concert ukulele that, that make it uh, kind of different, oh sorry, bloodwood rosette as well, um, that make it a little different uh, from others. This is actually built to a 16 inch scale. So um, just to put it in, in context or in perspective, standard concert scales, 15 inches, so standard tennis scale uke uh, is, set, is 17. So this one kind of sits just nicely in between. Um, and it just a, it's a really nice uh, length uh, feel wise uh, as far as finger movement goes around the board. It doesn't feel too big. It's still got the nice concert size body, which I, I mean I prefer uh, as opposed to a tenor body. Um, and not too high tension either, which tennis tennis scale you can give you that little bit extra tension, which some some players find a little uncomfortable. But this is right smack in between, and as far as sound sound goes, it's just incredible. The other thing which is unique about this this instrument is it has a cantilevered fretboard, which essentially means that uh, the where it joins the neck is actually doesn't actually is not touching the soundboard it's you can see that little gap there in between the top of the uke and the bottom of the fretboard and basically the principle behind behind that um, from having spoken to David about it is that um, you know in his words really um, there's not a lot of real estate on the top of the, the ukulele on the soundboard of the ukulele so his, his um, purpose with these is just to give the the uh, instrument as much chance to resonate uh, as possible for the to maximise um, uh, volume and resonance. Um, and this, as you as I hope you heard from that little intro, it just goes and goes. And really. I find it hard to say enough enough uh, th great things about this instrument. It's, it really is, having played uh, God knows how many concerts in my life, this really is one of the nicest feeling and uh, sounding concert ukuleles I've ever had. Um, oh, sorry, Ma uh, Pearl uh, Marcus has, actually has 13 frets to the body which is a little bit, again, different from standard, which is a, usually you find they're 12 or 14. Um, Collings ukes also tend to use 13 frets to the body, and David certainly prefers this himself with his instruments. Uh, and having played a few now, I can really see why. Uh, the sound of this is just...
just has so much volume and it's just such a sweet, rich, uh, warm, warm tone. It's actually strung at the moment with uh, Worth Brown uh, fluorocarbon string set with uh, an Aquila Aquila, mm -hmm. uh, a red low G. And it just sounds absolutely fabulous. Um, really, really impressed. Sadly, David's uh, been out of action for the past uh, eight months ish with uh, some issues with his hands and he's had several operations. So we're all hoping in the ukulele community that he's uh, that healing comes and he starts building again soon because he has a wait list and uh, I want to get back on it myself. <laughs> so uh, with all that said, I might just play you a few more sound samples um, and then maybe talk just a little bit more about uh, this ukulele, which, which is an absolute sweetheart. Cheers, folks. Yeah, so as you can as you can see, it's got really good note clarity, uh, really warm, really warm voice, and, and great projection. And as far as the, the player goes, it's very slim um, neck. My favourite kind of ukes, just sits so comfortably in the hand. The finish is so lovely and smooth, and it just you, your hands literally just slide. That little curve just slides up and down the neck. It's very fast. Um, I love the tone. You can hear how much voice it's got right up. Whoops, <laughs> not like that though. Just. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful sounding uke. Um, I know ukuleles 
uh, built by David Ingalls at, in Oregon. Um, hard to recommend it more highly, to be quite frank with you. Um, I, I'm just a, I'm a huge fanboy, um, and have been from the start, and always will be. Uh, not only is a great builder, uh, he's a great fellow too. So, thanks for listening, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed that little window into the world of Ono. Oh Cheers.